Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain, and welcome to the first part of our Let's Play of... <laughs> Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for the PS4 on PS5. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and contribute to my Patreon links in the description at the bottom. Ugh, folks, here we are at long last. Yeah, I wanted to cover Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for the longest time now, but... Honestly, if you know anything about this game, you know about the myriad of updates it's had over since its release. So, yeah, with the release of um, uh, with a certain DLC, you know, the only one that actually has trophies, yeah, now it seems like it's finally time. Bloodstains has finally stopped updating, so now I can give a, uh, give a Let's Play of the definitive version of this game. Yeah, the, re the revival of Metroidvania games held by the man himself, uh, Koji Ikarashi, as a nice little way of saying fuck Konami. Ah, yes. And trust me, there will be many different ways that Igarashi will be saying fuck Konami throughout this game. <laughs> but we'll get to that in good time. Oh. And yeah, as you can see, I've already been through this game before. But, um, yeah, like I said... I wasn't waiting until all the, uh, uh, until all the, uh, updates were done. So, yeah, we got ourselves plenty of updates going around here. Yeah, first off with, the, uh, yeah, playing as our main character, Mir Miriam. And then with two other characters. Let's see, Zangetsu, who we'll get to know later. And Aurora from another series that I'm not entirely familiar with. But, hey, it was free anyway, so who cares? Alright, so, anyways... To make up, uh, to make up for lost time, I'm going through it on hard mode. So, here we go. And yeah, it's been a, it's been a good while since I played it, so it should still be somewhat fresh to me. Just going through it again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, and yeah, we've already covered Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, and Curse of the Moon Two, but yeah, if you're relying on those for context, the don't. Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. Those people do not matter. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to and they wonder where the demons came from. Died. Bit of a whoopsie. The church succeeded in vanquishing the hell sand. The steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial light. However, two survived. Chibo. The boy for whom, by some miracle, the right did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed, and come too soon for the tragedy. Demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Ah, nice demonic alarm clock. I'm learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual. Eh, eh. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. The inevitable timeshare presentation when they land.
Johannes, are you certain it was... Uh, yeah, kind of sure it is. It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. Oh, hey, Joseph. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brothers subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. Well, they're well, they're dead now, probably, so who cares? It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well, let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. Yeah, if I ever go and summon a giant demonic hell castle, please kill me. Cool. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? Uh, I don't know. I say there were a bunch of nature documentaries. I wish I had the answer. Or was it that huge bottle of cognac? All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. Convenient! We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Oh. A uh, good. Oh, let's see. Gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out of type of bullet, uh huh. Ah, that chest. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Kung Fu shoes. Uh, let's see. Knives. Oh yes, and also some update, uh, and also some extra, uh, some extra stuff from free DLC. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, from Shantae. Let's see, risky blade and a risky pistol. Blunt, a cursed flintlock pistol, once owned by a master pirate, and the risky blade, a cursed scimitar suitable for a pirate queen. Let's see, risky bandana, uh, skull cap for your skull cap. Let's see, half genie outfit, the go-to guard for guardian genies. Ooh la la. And the half genie vest, short on length, long on fashion. And half genie tiara, perfect accessory for lethal looking locks. Ooh, uh, half GD fireball, a uh, powerful and uh, popular and powerful sequin land magic. All right, good. all good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to. Is to get ready for action. I'll take care of it. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right, we got our first shard. Let's see. Press the triangle button to conjure a projectile magic. Consumes MP. Launch a bouncy ball of water. Uh huh. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Well, get used to it because we're going to be get, getting a lot more of them later. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. Ugh. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. Oh, guys, it like the focus for Final Fantasy 13. Oh, uh, well, okay, nowhere near as dumb, but. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but 
that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. Oh well, might as well go and test it then. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. You're welcome. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't push yourself. No promises. How do they get inside? Um, with their feet? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Yeah! Yeah! Ho! Ho! Are the alchemy notes? No. Ah, got ourselves a, de uh, let's see, a demon compendium, all that good stuff. Alright, off we go. And yeah, remember this is a castle. Uh, this is a Metroidvania, so always keep on uh, keep an eye out for um, yeah, keep an eye out for uh, for any secret walls. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Well, look at that. Let's see, Gale Crawler. Create a shockwave that travels across the ground and rips enemies apart. Thank you. 
Let's see, for my studies I found the following existence of attributes. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, basic stuff. Yep, new directional shard. Let's see, flame cannon? Cool. All right, there we go. We're working. Was close. Let's see, flashing arc check. Perform up to three spade kicks by repeating the same command. Let's see, kung fu shoes and dragon shoes. All right. Safe spot, thank you.
Yeah, no, these, uh, yeah, no, these say spots are, these say spots are gonna be a godsend. Yeah, it looks like we have to actually use these on enemies in order to uh, uh, master the technique. You know, Master Techniques later, survive now. There we go, much better. How good are the enemies respawn? Well. Alright, head flail. Attack by using a Dula Hammer's head as a flail. Yeah, I know. When this game's on hard mode, they're not kidding around. Well, good thing I saved before that, but I lost that uh, lost that shard. Swell. Yeah, no, potions are really going to come in handy here.
This is going to be a problem. Yeah, even with this free DLC equipment, this, uh, yeah, imagine, oh, imagine what it would have been like for Miriam and her default equipment. Yikes. with a stone mask. Let's see, a stone mask was used by a tribal chief during ritual sacrifices. Hmm. Yes, Jojo, I reject my humanity! Uh, but now, as fun as the stone mask could be, um, yeah, not exactly uh, good stat-wise. But still, yeah, again, before you even ask, yes, that is a JoJo reference. Hmm. Oh, hello. E. Let's see. A random sacrifice's attack power to increase defense. Eh. Ruins of a usual size? I don't think they exist. Just give me a sec for this little puppy to charge up. Yes, a familiar. Thank you.
Ooh, money. Thank you. Ah, safe spot. Thank you. Oof. Yeah, not gonna lie. Uh, hard mode is definitely living up to its reputation. Ugh. All right. Anyways, now that that's taken care of. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Nope, the risky bandana gives me a lot more stats. Sorry. Come on, get down here, you big chicken. All right, fine, screw you then. the classic whip. Crack that whip! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but again, still not as good as the Risky Blade. Plenty of cash.
dope. Yeah, no, this uh, is definitely going to keep me on my toes. Yeah, I'm definitely having a... Uh, yeah, uh, normal was... Well, I'm not going to say easy, but it was... Well, I mean, normal. <clears throat> and yeah, definitely can't come back here until I get myself some uh, double jumps or something. Cheese, Gromit, cheese! Although, cheese from giant evil demon rats? I'm not exactly sure how good that is, both for health wise or spirit wise, but yeah, whatever. I'm not picky. Especially not when it comes to cheese. A single potion. Thank you. So needed that. But I definitely need this. Ooh. All right, summon a giant rat. And apparently the giant rats can explode into smaller rats. <clears throat> okay, that's out there. Alright, let's see. Anything else here? Nope. Ooh. Ooh, a dual hand helmet. A dual hammer helmet. A dual hand a dual hammer head that's been refashioned to human armor. Let's see. And lowers my luck, lowers my concentration. Extra defense. And Well, if I recognize that door anywhere, yep, it's the boss. Let's, oop. All right, well, up we go. Ah, 
Dracula, uh, uh, Jeebel, right, Jeebel. So, sleeping beauty, you've decided to awaken. Oh, Jeebel, what happened to you? I remember when I used to play you in Curse of the Moon too. You are not this much of an evil douche. What happened, man? Jeebel, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're an evil overlord. She's dressed like a sexy belly dancer pirate. And what is going on here, man? How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us. Oh, for God's sake, we're going into this, aren't we? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. And besides, should you just be doing it to the alchemist instead of, you know, like everybody else? No. No, there you are very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Oh, bo okay. I loved saying this line here. Jeebel, what the alchemist did to you was wrong. Very wrong. But focus on them and not the entire world. The uh, humanity is not going to pay for your freaking therapy session. Okay, pal? Join me, Miriam. And together we can rule the galaxy as husband and wife or something. I don't know. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like. <laughs> what is human exactly? What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. Well, I bet you didn't expect to hear these words from me either. Oink, oink, magoo, 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 oscar, gawker, I need scissors 61. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. Uh, I couldn't agree more, pal. <laughs> doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I've given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Oh, great. Uh, Jeebel's got himself a hype woman. <sighs> yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. Good, I'm tired of talking. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Oh, I found you. There you are, right over there. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. Good, as long as it helps her kick your ass harder. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Groovy. Come, Gwen. Yeah, she will later fight this thing now. Well, that's what I get for the Guns Blazer approach, I suppose. Okay, round two. So, come, Grimley. We're leaving.
Okay, so how am I going to dodge that water attack? Alright, third time's the charm. Debo, wait. I don't think I need to grind, at least not yet. Okay, so getting closer is way too dangerous. Hmm.
Yeah, I think I may need to grind. Yeah, now how am I supposed to dodge that attack? Just tank it? Yeah, if I could just get her into the middle of the boat like that, it would be easier for me to hit her. And I could dodge her attacks. I think I figured out how to get uh, a Dodger Hydrogen attack.
after this conclusion, I think I may need to grind for a little bit in order to get myself actually, you know, to actually stand a chance. Great. So, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day here. Next time, we'll take care of that big old BC and, yeah, hopefully get off this tub. So, till next time, folks, this is David on David's Brain. See you when I see ya. Bye-bye.